All right, here we are asked to consider the function f of x in the graph below and determine the domain and range of f inverse of x. So here we're presented with a function that appears to be uh, some transformation of a square root function. That's what it looks like to me at least. And so for f of x, it appears that the domain, uh, the domain appears to be up from negative infinity to positive 3. So I'll write the domain as parentheses, negative infinity, comma, positive 3. And then we've got a solid point there when x is 3. I'll bracket the 3. The range, the range appears to go from 4 to positive infinity. And so then the range is bracket 4, comma, infinity. So now that's the domain and range of the given function f of x. We are asked to find the domain and range of the inverse function, f inverse of x. Well, a function and its inverse, you invert the variables. And so if we invert the variables, we invert the domain and range. And so then for f inverse of x, whatever that inverse function is, its domain is the range of f of x. So the domain of f inverse is bracket 4, comma, infinity. The range of f inverse is negative infinity, comma, 3, bracket. And so those are my conclusions for this exercise.